Hi, this is Dr. Moore, and today we're going to fixate a distal fibular fracture. Uh, the patient has an oblique fibular fracture just above the area of the tib fib ligament. And we're going to use the Stryker Variac system. And the Stryker Variac system has multiple plates for different parts of the midfoot. But over here, these are the plates we're going to use. They're for the fibula and they have a nice teardrop area that fits on the outside of the ankle bone here to cut the outside of the fibula and also on the larger part to get multiple screws and also uh, different lengths of place to go up the uh, proximal aspect of the fibula. Today we've chosen the smallest plate. Uh, it's missing here and I'll show you on x-ray what we use next and we'll go over and, and move over to the fracture site in one second. This is a full kit. Uh, inside here it has compression clamps, uh, different types of spreaders, uh, tissue guides to protect the soft tissue, and down here different reamers and, um, and uh, screw sets, wire cutters. So it's a complete set and we have a couple of bending apparatuses here because I'm going to take the plate and actually tweak it forward. This patient, the end of the fibula is kicked out laterally, I'll show you on x-ray later. And we're going to try and take her fibula and push it back in with this plate. Even though this is a normal anatomical curve, we're going to bend it forward a little bit this way to make sure that the fibula is kicked back down. Okay, here's the fibular fracture. And this is the proximal fibula. This is the end of the malleolus. You can see the, the uh, fragment's been cleaned out. The dissection's been done. We're going to distract the distal fibula down, move it forward, and compress it upwards. Um, with a lag screw and then put the plate on the outside here. Again, on x-ray, what you can't see here is the fibula is a little bit kicked outwards. So we're going to bend the plate so we pull it back down so it presses into the talus and closes down the gap in this lateral gutter. We'll take x-rays of that later. Now what we found out is this plate is, if this is the fibula, my finger right here, the plate's a little bit up and rotate, it's like up like that. So I'm always going to, I'm going to take the end here and teardrop it down and inwards this way and I'll put it on the fibula to show you how well it conforms. But with these bending plates, they go right through the holes, which is great, so you're not marring up the surface. And I'm just gonna grab it here, tweak it downwards a little bit, this way, give it some back pressure. And we'll bring it on over here, the fracture side. And should slip right in and fit on top the fibula nicely. Well, it's tear dropping down nicely here now where I want to at the distal fibula right here. It's not gapping, but this area here is still up a bit, so I'm going to bring it down. But you can see how these bending tools work great, and we'll fuss with it until it's perfect. Okay, we have the distal area fixated. You can come a little closer and see what we got here. The three screws distally are two brass looking screws. Those are not locking and locking distally here where we have the area of the distal fibula fixated. The fracture lines run about here and now we're going to throw some screws on the proximal area. First we're going to show the drilling. So drill the holes first. And the first ones we did was one cortex, just right at the level of the joint. This one we're going to drill all the way through. There we go. And then, of course, measure. And that's it. We've got a, uh, he measured a 12 non-locking screw in this set. And then since they're self-tapping, since they're self-tapping, um, the screws actually go right through the cortex 
and there's no uh, tapping. We missed that step right now. So here's the uh, here's the 12, the first hole he drilled. Looks like the second one's a 14. Mm -hmm. There you go. You want to lock the second one? Yeah. 14 lock room next. There you go. All right. There it is going in. And it's about as easy as that. We'll check it on x-ray in a little bit. We're also getting a locking screw next for the adjacent hole. And that's why this set is so easy to put together. And again, they're very low profile. So they won't be raised up and hitting the skin. All right, now we're finished, finished product. Again, the fractures along this line right here. Maybe we could have put another screw in here, but it's these three locking, it's locking distally and these two screws here are so tight that I think we have good distal uh, fixation. So we left these open and again, three above, that's fine for oblique uh, fracture. And we'll get a, a x-ray of this now. And take a look at the x-ray over here and you'll see if they're all lined up on the fibula right there. All in a row. So there we go, man. There's all the screws, the lag screws in the middle there. And mission accomplished. The striker, Variax, compression plate system.